school. And you know what that means. You win the honor of being the headliner in Duel Academy's prestigious graduation match. Why, thanks. And tradition dictates that you get to pick whoever you want as your opponent. So who will it be, Zane? <laughs> Who will I duel? The only one worthy. It's time to give Jaden his rematch. Chilling out with the crew in the schoolyard. Finding trouble now, but looking too hard. Well, back at class, they never taught us this. scares you, Sai. So, what's up? You know, in my three years at the Academy, I have not once set foot in this here dorm. It's nice that I finally found a reason to come out here. A reason? What, like to invite us out to lunch? Or to take us to one of your hot shot obelisk blue functions? Hmm? To duel you. <gasps> Sorry, but I thought you said duel. Yes, I did. Huh? To duel you, Jaden. I've decided. I want you to join me in the grad match. Huh? <gasps> the grad match? That's the biggest duel of the year. Right. Till then. Aw, oh, Jay. Oh, and I like your dorm, by the way. It's a good fit for you kids. <laughs> wow, the grad match. Oh, boy, this is so sweet. The last duel of the school year, and I'm in it. Yeah, the thick of it. Come on, Jaden, this is Zane we're talking about here. The only student duelist you've ever lost to, and you're gonna be dueling him in front of the entire school! Uh... Jaden! If you don't win this, you'll be stuck in his shadow forever! You'll never be the next king of games! Well, guess I'll have to win then. But, Jay, that's easier said than done. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're good, but Zane is... Zane is what, Cyrus? He's just never lost. Sure, there was Camula, but he lost that on purpose for me. Other than that, he's undefeated, unbeaten. Look, Jaden, it's not that I don't believe in you. I just don't want to see my best friend get hurt. Oh, man, this is all just coming out wrong. What can I say? How about get your game on? All right. It's true. It's going to be Zane and Jaden in the graduation match. My, that has the makings of a fantastic duel. Think of it. An obelisk versus a slifer. A third-year student versus a first-year. Should be good. <laughs> Should be the jazz dueling. Now that's a match. <laughs> Yay! Oh. Not so sure about that, Chazzy. See, with Zane and Jaden, it'll be cool, calm, and collected versus fast and furious. I don't know if Jaden is furious, but he definitely duels with more passion than Zane. True, but sometimes that can hurt your game. Should be my game! Huh? What a year it's been here at Duel Academy, and what a way to end it! One final match with the big man on campus, the top duelist in the school, the one student who beat me. Uh, the one student who stands between me and being the best. No two ways about it, I gotta win. What's up, Zane? What's up is it's time. It's time for our rematch. I'll see you at the duel arena.
it's about to start. Yeah. Zane and Jaden dueling it out in the last throwdown of the year. Man, who could ask for a better match? A mismatch. According to my figure, Zane's quite the favorite. Some things you can't figure. Yeah, like I can't figure out why the Chaz was left out of this duel. <laughs> Serious? That's gotta be a first. I wonder if he's nervous. Well, he ought to be. Yeah, gotta agree. It's Zane's big day and he's gonna duel big. Ah. All right, Zane. I guess may the best duelist win. <laughs> Dragon of his during the first round because there won't be a monster out on the field to let him do it. Looks like someone has studied up on me. All right, Zane, time to throw down. Very well, then. Here goes. I activate the spell card polymerization. Now, by sending some select monsters from my hand to the grave, I can summon a fusion monster. To the grave? That's right, Jaden. There's more than one way to skin a cat, or in this case, Summon a dragon. Huh. I'll send the three cyber dragons in my hand to the graveyard so I can summon the cyber end dragon. Ah, dear me. And me. He's good. I was wondering why he didn't care who went first. But now I know. He was prepared for either situation. The question is, am I? Especially now that that Cyber End Dragon is out. After all, when it attacks a monster in defense mode, the difference between its attack points and the defending monster's defense points are dealt to me as damage. Man, how could I have let this happen? Uh, well, anything else you want to throw at me? As a matter of fact, yes, there is. Different dimension capsule. Now, Jaden, I select one card in my deck and remove it from play. But then, in two turns, it returns to my hand. Hey, I remember this. In our first duel, Zane used that different dimension capsule to add power bond to his hand. Wonder if he's doing the same thing here. Finally, I'll place one card face down and end my turn. Hmm, the plot thickens. A face down too? I can't know for sure what those cards are, but I sure have a hunch. Yeah, that capsule card must be power bond. And the face down he just threw must be diffusion. He must be planning to defuse Cyber End Dragon and then finish me off. Jaden, go on. It's your move now. Ah. What's wrong? It's like he's frozen up. I've never seen him like this before. Huh, Zane thinks he's gonna outsmart me again. But not this time. This time, I'm gonna outsmart him. And I'm gonna start right now. All right, here goes. I play Elemental Hero Wild Heart in attack mode. Then I'm gonna activate the spell card Wild Half. And because of its effect, the points of your dragon are now split in half. A half token with the same points as your weakened end dragon is summoned. But I'm not done yet. Next, I equip the spell card Cyclone Boomerang on to Wild Heart. Now, 
Now, Wild Heart's attack points increased by 500. Now go, Wild Heart, attack that Cyber End Dragon. Wild Walloping Boomerang. I don't think so. I play Diffusion. Against any of those three Cyber Dragons, Wildheart can't win. But against that one Cyber End Dragon, Wildheart still has a chance. Yeah, it may be a really small one, but I have no other choice than to go for it. And just hope for the very best. Otherwise, I'll be bested. Attack Wildheart! He did it! Jaden destroyed Zane's Cyber End Dragon! Indeed he did. Jaden must have calculated that Zane's face down was diffusion. Most impressive. I guess, but that's not really Jaden's style. Sure, Wildheart's gone too, but since he was equipped with Cyclone Boomerang, all spell and trap cards that are out on the field are now destroyed! And plus! For every spell and trap card that was destroyed, you take a big fat 500 smackaroos to your life points! So not only did he destroy Cyber End Dragon, but he took the lead in the duel too? Yes, it sure looks that way. Jaden has really done his homework here. Done his homework? Well then, this would certainly be the first time. That's Slifer Slacker! Yeah, not anymore. In this duel here, I'm playing with my head, not my heart. Next, I'll throw down a face down and end my turn. Oh, is that it? Very well. First of all, the card removed from play using Capsule returns to me. Hey, wait a sec. So then the card you had in there wasn't Power Bond? No, it wasn't. Seems as though you overthought this one, Jaden. It was card from a different dimension. Whoa, I didn't see that coming. Due to this, we now both get to draw two cards from our decks to our hands. Oh, oh I see. To summon his Cyber and Dragon, Zane needed to use at least four of his cards. So therefore, if he had used Diffusion and then played Power Bond right afterwards, there wouldn't have been any cards left in his hand to use. And that would have put Zane in a tough spot. Yeah, you're right. That Zane, boy, he sure is a clever guy. Maybe you should root for him instead of your boyfriend, Jaden. Shut up. Awkward. Come on, Jay, hang in there. All right. Cyber Dragon, wage a direct attack with Strident Blast! Don't think so! I play the trap Draining Shield! Sorry, Zane, but now your Cyber Dragon's attack is canceled, and I get to regain life points equal to its attack points! That's fine. You'll need them because now my remaining two Cyber Dragons are going to attack Jaden Strident Blast! Next, I'll place one card face down and end my turn. Wow, Jaden just barely got out of that round. Too close. It'll be even closer next turn. Those Cyber Dragons are still out. Meaning Jaden is in a state of constant peril. He must neutralize them. Yeah, no joke, Bastion, but the question of the day is how? And more importantly, when? You know, normally I'd say not to worry, but... But what? But with the way Jay's overthinking things here, I'm really not so sure. I know. Come on, Jaden, use your head. You gotta figure out a way to get rid of those Cyber Dragons. And you gotta do it right now. Here I go, my draw. I play the spell, the warrior returning alive. Now I can select one warrior type monster in my graveyard and add it to my hand. So, come on back, Wildheart! And next, I'll activate Polymerization! And fuse Wildheart with Elemental Hero Blade Edge to create Elemental Hero Wild Edge! And now he's gonna edge you out by attacking all the monsters you have on your field in one devastating attack! So do your thing, Wild Edge, and go wild on those three Cyber Dragons! <laughs> My goodness! All three 
Cyber Dragons destroyed in just one turn? How remarkable! This duel is truly living up to its hype! What a shot! That was the sweetest! There's really something to all this strategizing stuff. You're a fool. What? I'm activating the trap card Return Soul. Oh. Now all monsters that were destroyed this turn come back and return to my deck. Great, just when I thought I was rid of them, they're back. And raring to get rid of me. What a shame. I picked Jaden Yuki to be in my last duel. Wonder where he is. Say what? You're not being yourself. You're not playing with your heart. That's right, because to beat you, I've got to play with my head, like I'm doing now. What you're doing now, Jaden, is wasting my time. Sure I am. You can quit with all the mind games, OK? They're not going to work. Mind games? I don't think that's what he's doing. I mean, Zane has a point. Jaden is dueling differently. Ha! It's my turn now, and I play the spell Future Fusion. But this is no ordinary fusion. You see, I'm allowed to fuse cards, not in my hand. Therefore, I send three Cyber Dragons in my deck to the graveyard and summon the Cyber End Dragon. Ah. Of course, monsters that are created by Future Fusion aren't allowed to attack on the turn they're summoned, but I can wait. Yeah, but I can't. I gotta think of a way to get rid of that thing fast. Come on, Jaden, use your brain. All right then. Ha! I'm throwing down three face downs. And that's it. Still with your head. You can't win this way. Don't think so? Well, we'll just have to see about that. Go ahead then, Zane. Make your move. What a disappointment you've become. Enough with that. Okay, fine then, Jaden. If you won't listen to my words, oh. perhaps you'll listen to my cards. First, I'm going to play the spell card, Defusion. Activate! Now, one fusion monster on the field returns to my fusion deck. Next, my three normal cyber dragons come back. Now I'll activate my spell card. Ha! Uh, uh. Recognize it, Jaden? It's Power Bomb. And with it, I can summon back an old friend, the Cyber End Dragon! Again? But why? Why again, you may be asking? Quite simple, really. If a monster is summoned by a power bond, its attack points are automatically doubled. <sighs> Just great! Looks like using my head has got me headed towards a giant loss. One I may never be able to live down. And to think I admired you, Jaden. I won't make that mistake again, nor will anyone else. Oh no! You're through! Oh. Chilling out with the crew in the schoolyard. Finding trouble, never looking too hard. Well, back at class, they never taught us.